Hi, this is Devin Lockett with another episode of Biomed RX TV, and I'm here with Miss Melissa Tong of Duck Punk Productions. Hi. That sounds like a very interesting name, Melissa. It is. Um, I actually started out as a uh, TV news anchor for one of the very first, uh, one of the first um, satellite TV stations in the U.S. called the International Channel. So, because I was a newbie. They gave me a five-minute human interest segment every day, where I could cover anything and everything from health, beauty, technology, political, and then I saved my Friday segments to do movie premieres because then I could walk the red carpet, interview the Hollywood celebrities, and then also stay for the after party. So at the time, I was young and I thought I was having fun, but then years later, when I look back at my career, I realized that those four years laid a very solid foundation for me. As a storyteller. Storyteller. Yeah, because in those four years, I've interviewed thousands of people from all walks of life, and it also covered over twelve hundred stories. Wow, incredible. Yeah, so now storytelling has become second nature. Wow. So, what kind of stories that uh, do you tell? Um, I'm primarily an award-winning director producer, so I I tell stories for entrepreneurs. For small business owners, for medium-sized businesses, as well as Fortune 500 companies. Some of my past clients are Nissan, Verizon, and Wells Fargo, and I have ra- helped them raise sales to 110 percent. And I've won many awards for my work, such as the Khan Lion, Clio, many Eddies, many Tellies, and a lot more film festival awards from across the country. That sounds very interesting. So you make these films that are shown to the employees that uh, help motivate the employees to boost sales? No, no, no. These are big time TV commercials you see on TV. Oh, wow. I don't, yeah, I haven't actually made one just to show the employees yet. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So these are, these are mostly TV commercials, like I said. Wow. And some of them are um, uh, basically um, stories about their companies because... As you very well know, as a business owner, how do you, how do you think your audience or customers buy from you? What well, makes them buy? I heard that the audience has to see your message at least 13 times before they make a buying decision. Okay, now that's a separate issue. But aside okay. from that, people buy because of an emotion. People don't buy based on information. No, they buy on, on, on Right, feeling. exactly. Yes. So if you just having a video, so this is what I tell my clients. Having a video is, is half the battle. Because just having a video and saying what you do exactly. and, and, and how you do it, it's not going to create any emotional connection. No. So what you have to do as, as a business, whether you're targeting a large audience or you're targeting a very specific small audience, the key is you have to, create a story. You have to create and craft a story that has an emotional hook or emotional arc so that when people listen to your story, they can find something that, that they that can they relate, relate to. to. Yes, yes. And because they can relate to your story, then it creates an emotional and a feeling within them. And then usually people make a buying decision based on the emotion, emotion that, it, that that was involved exactly. Right? So it's Very, never about power it's is. never about the information. Yes, and it's not just about the video itself. It's about the story mm. in the video. Now, going back to your point, where you know people have to listen to it thirteen times. Actually, most people can retain ninety five percent of a message from a video versus ten percent from what they read. Wow. So, so video is now the new most powerful means yes, of communication. Yes, absolutely. And that's the, another reason why we don't We're doing this. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Very good. Mm-hmm. Well, that is very, very interesting. I would love to see uh, some samples of your work. Yeah, absolutely. I'm happy to give you something, you Wonderful. know, to show if you want to. Actually, you I'd know. like to, if, I, if, if you can, I'll edit it. Into yeah, this. yeah, absolutely. Beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Beautiful. Well, what else would you like the audience to know? Um, well, I like the audience to also um, pay attention to how they carry and present themselves on camera. Mm-hmm. 
Because if you're a big business, and obviously, you know, um, like Verizon, Nissan, Wells Fargo, they hire actors to appear in the TV commercials and videos. But as a small business owners, a lot of times you want to tell your own story. And in order to do that, you have to be brave enough to put yourself yes. in front of the camera. Absolutely. And that is something I also teach because with my four years in front of the camera and 20 years behind the camera, I have 24 years of combined experience. Yes. So I have a very critical and different eye when I look at people's performance in front of and also um, in front of the camera and also look at it, you know, from behind the camera. Objectively. Like objectively, exactly. you know, how are you doing, right? So I started teaching a class two years ago called How to Be a Rockstar on Camera and on Stage. Mm -hmm. This is for business owners who, like I said, want to put themselves out there, put themselves on camera or want to speak on stage. And um, knowing that 93% of communication is body language. Mm. Only 7% is words. Yes. So knowing how to carry yourself, knowing how to present yourself, and knowing how to craft and tell your story is key. Yes, it is. Because a lot of people, I'm sure, you know, you all have seen, you know, people going on Facebook Live, people going on Instagram stories, people going on LinkedIn stories yes. to tell the stories. But a lot of times, they make mistakes that, in my opinion, can be totally avoidable. It's like they have some crazy backgrounds in the back. You keep looking at what's in the background. You don't look at their faces anymore, or they have bad audio, or they set the camera too low, too high. I mean, all these like different things, or where they put the lights. So all these little, you know, small things these details, yes. could make or break your video, Absolutely. and can also enhance your brand, or somehow ruin your brand. your brand. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So you have to be very, very careful mm -hmm. when you go on camera because you can potentially be appealing to millions of people mm -hmm. if your video is somewhat, you know, engaging, professional. Yes. Professional and, is the key. Right? Professional and, and have the right message versus if you have something not so good looking, <laughs> And that Cheesy. audio, you know, and it's about selling, then you could potentially yeah, turn off people who could be your potential customers. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for sharing. And uh, uh, please give everyone your website. Okay. It's, uh, it's Duck Punk. I know it's a little hard to pronounce. It's D-U-C-K-P-U-N-K dot net. And Not our fun. number is 310-627-8666. All righty. Well, thank you very much for joining. Thank you for having me. Bye. Bye. Even superheroes and supermodels need a daily dose of nutrients to help make life more super. Biomed RX Supplements is making it easy to get exactly what you need. From kids to seniors, they've got something for everyone. Pretty cool, right? Check out their products at biomedrxsupplements.com.